Hello, this is John Kitzdiner with uh, episode two of our life here on the farm. And speaking of the farm, I wanted to talk first about the name of the farm. Uh, we've battered around a lot of different names for quite a while. We wanted something that meant something to us and that was not very, um, I don't know, generic. There's a lot of farms out there that I think have very generic names. And uh, we wanted something that was, was different, but also meant something to us. Um, we spent a lot of time in Germany. My oldest daughter was born in Germany when I was stationed uh, in the military overseas in Europe and in uh, the Middle East. And um, we ended up taking a number of vacations and spending um, a lot of time in the western and southern uh, parts of Germany, Bavaria. And we really grew to love that area. And, uh, and so that's really where the name of our farm came from. I think the correct or more correct German pronunciation, since my German is not very good, would be more Bauernhof Kitzsteiner. And the Americanized version is uh, Bauernhof Kitzsteiner. And, you know, it's hard to say if this is, uh, you know, why Americans or if it's more of an English thing uh, that we do. We take another uh, language and switch it around a little bit. You know, Munich is München, uh, Seville, Spain is Sevilla. Uh, and so, for us, I think the more um, e easier pronunciation would be the Bauernhof, and uh, so that's that's the name that stuck, and we really like it, and uh, it really means just a family farm, and that's exactly what we're doing here. And uh, we just spent our first night on the farm, and it was not very restful <laughs> at all for me. Uh, my kids woke me up multiple times. Um, I've got four kids right now. My oldest is seven, and the. Uh, you know, they say kids are resilient and can handle change very well, and I agree with that, but I don't necessarily think that that's a good thing for them. And unfortunately, we've had to move a lot in the last five years, um, I, over three continents, uh, when I was stationed in Portugal and in Turkey, and they always had some stress with the move, and they're doing the same thing this time again. And uh, one of the things that we're really happy about is going to be uh, our ability to provide them some stability. And um, yeah, just so we don't have to keep uprooting them every single time they get settled again. And so it's something that has really bothered me and uh, why, I, again, just another reason that I'm really, really excited to be here. And, uh, and I think that's about it. So this is John Kitzsteiner from Bulls Gap, Tennessee, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.